Hey kids, it's art day. It's Miss Sudi. We're going to do a new project today with a new artist that you have not heard about before. His name is Matisse. Henri Matisse, a very famous painter. And his paintings are in museums all over the world. He is the most famous for his cutouts. He was a great painter. And if you all go to the McNay Museum when it reopens, there are some very good Henri Matisse's there. Henri means Henry. That's a fancy way to say Henry. But let's talk about his cutouts, because I love this. This is Matisse, cutout fun with Matisse. He lived in France. And this book is especially for boys and girls learning how to do this. Now, Mr. Matisse, here's his picture right here. Mr. Matisse had, he at this time when he began doing the cutouts, he was living in a hotel in France on the Riviera, which is the beach, and he was recovering from a back operation. And while he was recovering from a back operation, he was not supposed to stand on his feet. So he sat in his wheelchair. He could not stand at the easel and paint like we do. So he developed the idea of painting with scissors. And these are his most famous, I think they're really his most famous things. Now, he would sit in the wheelchair in his room in the hotel in the, in the Riviera with all the paper all around his feet. And he would move his feet and move those pieces of paper around. And then he got a helper to help him. And he would snip, 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 snippity snip. And then he would cover the walls of his room with cut pieces of paper. And then he would get them, he would have a helper move them around and they would stick them on the walls. And he liked what he saw. Uh, this is one of the shapes that he made of a model. Uh, and, and when a friend asked Matisse, why do you do this? He said, because I want the world to see through the eyes of a child. So he would snip simple shapes, reassemble them into pictures. Um, he covered the room, the walls of his room, with cutout pictures, like this. You may want to know why I have these green stickies in here. That's because I have certain ones that I want to be sure that you see. Look at this one. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, kiddos, can you do this at home? You bet. Do I have to have the construction paper? No, you don't. You can use newspaper. You can use old magazines. You can use anything that you have around the house. Back to his cutting. So he cut all these wonderful shapes, just letting his hands move. And I'll show, demonstrate that in just a minute. And then, look at this one. He used both pieces. He would cut the shape out with his scissors. And he would put the outside part in one place and the inside part in another place. And then, because he thought this one and this one were equally important. Here's a great picture of him sitting in his bed, moving the shapes around so that it made it pleasing to his eyes. Now he was in this room, I think about a year, but when he finally got up, and got started painting again where he could stand up, he got very fancy with these cutouts. Notice these shapes. What are these shapes? These are bees. Notice the bees. And they're made out of two rectangles and it looks like two diamonds. I'll bet it's a, sh I'll bet it's a rectangle. I'll bet it's different rectangles. And look at this wonderful. All of this is cut paper. Can you do this? You bet you can. Look at this one in the school. You could do this around your bedroom at home. Put paper around the edge of the wall and then cut things out. What do you think this looks like? I 
think this kind of looks like swimming. What do you think? I think it does. I think it looks like swimming and waves and dolphins. And But how simple and easy. Here's another one. I love these. They kind of look like, like, like sea creatures. And here's a picture of Mr. Matisse cutting these shapes. Oh, look at this beautiful one. And you should be able to do all this at home. Look at the combinations of colors. So you can do basically the same thing in lots of different combinations of colors. Just like we did our Georgia O'Keeffe flowers. You just make those your hands kind of flow, and I'll give you a demonstration about that. <clears throat> so, what are these? These are Matisse cutouts. And do you want, do, let's, this is not hard, this is very easy. And I'm going to put that right there. Let's jump. Okay, so our tools today are very simple, and I think you'll enjoy this Matisse cutout project. Boys and girls, what do you have? You have hands, you have feet, and you have paper. Okay, do I, Miss Sudi, do I have to have a big piece of colored paper? No, I said that again, you do not. Use what you have around the house. You can use newspapers, you can use paper towels, you can use, but I'll bet all of you have a little bit of construction paper. Well, let's begin by choosing three different colors. Now, the first time, first thing you're going to do is you're going to draw around your hand. If you need help with this, ask mom or ask brother or sister. Take a pencil, a pen, and you're going to draw around your hand. Okay? And then you're going to take a pair of scissors and you're going to cut. And cut, these, uh, cut this hand out. But you see how I'm moving the paper? Remember, Miss Jo gave us a demonstration on how to move our hands and chew this paper up like a shark. But you're going to cut out the hand. And you want to cut two hands. How many hands do you have? Do you have six? I only have two, so I'm going to cut two. If you need some help with this, ask them for some help. It doesn't have to be perfect. It does not have to be perfect. So right now what we're using is we're using a pair of scissors. We're using a piece of construction paper. And we're using our hand and a pencil or a marker or whatever. It works for you to, so that you can see it. Okay? So you don't throw this away. Oh my goodness, this is very important. So you keep that, and you have your two hands. Okay. Now, the foot is pretty boring, but <laughs> you uh, do the same thing. Put your foot on the paper, or you can put the paper on the floor, but because we're filming, I'll put my foot on the paper. Take your pencil. Draw around your foot, cut it out, just like you did before. See, I've already got one cut out. I'm going to show you a trick also of how you can cut out two at one time. Oh, Miss Sue, I can't do that. Yes, you can. Oh, I love to paint with my scissors. As you know, Miss Sue loves to cut paper. Cutting paper is so much fun. Just like Miss Jo likes to cut out fabric. Okay, here have I got. They remember these are all now important pieces. Now, what tools do I need now, guys? I need a blank piece of paper of a different color. I need a glue stick. This is all pretty simple. Oh, Miss Sudi, I haven't got a glue stick. Well, if you have a bottle of Elmer's at your house or school glue, that works great. But remember, dot, dot, not a lot. Don't want to puddle. 
And remember, we put the glue on the smallest piece of paper. Now, I suggest that you play with this first. Remember how we did when we fractured our faces with Pablo Picasso? See what you want to put on here. You want to make these look fun. And you want to use some of this? You can. How about if I can use, I like this orange on the screen. How about if I use just a portion of, the, of, the, of this piece? So play with it and have a lot of fun. Mr. Matisse is from France. No, he isn't alive anymore. I always get that question. He died a while back. But his but the museums are full of his painting. Now look, work this color here. I put the blue in the middle somehow. Okay. And then once you get it to where you like it, then glue it down. Using your glue stick, put the glue on the smaller piece of paper first. You remember that we always tell you to put the glue stick, and you don't have to, you don't have to put tons. You just want to have fun with it. So put the glue stick, turn it over, and stick it down. And then remember at the end to make sure you have everything stuck down, you give it the shake test. I see mine will fail the shake test miserably. But then I can rearrange it. So after you have it all glued down. Now, Miss Sudi, can I cut some other stuff out? Sure. Try making your scissors paint pictures. How about, let's see. Mm -hmm. Does it have to look like anything? Well, I was trying to make a, a, a Yoda. <laughs> but there's not, oh, but look at this piece. Is that fabulous or what? Anyway, Mr. Matisse, he's very famous for these. The McNay has quite a few of his, in fact, they have a whole set of his prints called the Jazz Prints that are just gorgeous. And they're not out but once in a while. And I'm sure the San Antonio Museum of Art. So when they get open again. And also, boys and girls, ask Mommy to go online. And you can look at a lot of his paintings and his cutouts. He's a really interesting man to, uh, to uh, uh, follow and to learn how to do his cutouts. Just have fun with it. Cut whatever you want out. Cut out a flower. Cut out a dog. Hope you have fun with this project. Bye.